time to pack. I'm going to Barcelona in two days and tomorrow I don't have time to pack or do anything just because I'll be at the office. So I have to do everything this Tuesday afternoon. We're flying out on Thursday and we're coming back. We're flying back on Sunday night, but I wanna leave only the last minute stuff to be done. So today we're gonna try on clothes and we're gonna prep everything. We're gonna clean the house, just leave everything spotless so that tomorrow all I have to do is check in online and get to sleep early. <laughs> I have the options all laid out here. We're gonna try them on. Had to look at the weather. It's incredible that I'm going from like two degree weather here from literally snowing this morning. We're going to 20 degrees, 25 on the third day that we're there. I'm sorry, this was just a holiday that was meant to be, okay? So let's try this on and we'll come back to see if it still looks good, mind you. These are my summer clothes for the most part. So, you know, Christmas was just a few months ago. I indulged. Let's put it this way, I indulged a lot. So, we'll see. Here we have option number one, pair of comfy skinny jeans. I know, comfy skinny jeans don't exist. Sue me, call the police. I will die on that hill. This is what I envision for airport travel. The thing is, all of these outfits need to go with sneakers because my feet will blister after two steps from any other type of shoe. And I want to walk around in Barcelona. I want to see everything, or as much as possible. So I'm not taking any risks. The only type of shoe that I'll be wearing is going to be a sneaker that is tried and true. <laughs> so yeah, all of these options have been picked out with that in mind. Okay, moving on, next outfit. Okay, this top, I'm not so sure. I've never been sure about this top, mind you. It's a maybe. The one upside to this top is that it's so nice in summer. It's very flowy, very breezy. I love it, but it's just, I've never known how to like really properly style it, you know? Okay, maybe this option as well for like a, like an evening dinner, walking around type of thing. Or maybe even like an airport on the way back situation. We also have these pants. They're a bit more formal, but still pretty comfy. It could go with the sweater as well. That's good. Or a more summery version. Hello, summer. God, I love this top, it's so good. Now, well, excuse the sports bra, but <laughs> cute, right? We do this. Yeah, for sure we do this. Also, envision all of these outfits with like a leather jacket, because I'm not taking a winter coat to 20 degree weather. So, oh, it's so cold. <laughs> yeah, I love it, I'm sorry. I got nothing to say. Oh. I think I have too many options. <laughs> this for sure already doesn't fit in my <laughs> backpack, so we'll have to cut our losses. But this option number, you know, a thousand, uh, great. Love it. Well, then, well, it wouldn't be a sunny weather outfit collection without a skirt, right? So here it is in all its glory. Okay, and final outfit, full on dress. This dress is so nice, I cannot explain to you. It just it just feels so good and flowy on your body, you know, and you can do whatever you want. Now, not the most flattering for my chubby arms, but it is what it is. We put this on and we move on. And that's it. These are all the options that I had. I did have other skinny jeans, just like a blue-ish shade, not necessary. And I also had this like cute flowy top, but at the same time, pretty sure I'm gonna be warm. This is kind of like a synthetic material and not really a big fan of that anymore. It's gonna make me sweat, is what I mean to say, and I don't like that. We've grown past it. I've had this for many years, so uh, I grew out of it, unfortunately. It's still cute though, so I don't know. I can only wear these on very specific days when the weather is like in between cold and hot, but like, and humid and dry, you know, it's fine. <laughs> you know, I haven't really traveled, I gotta say. I'm 27 and I've only been to like five countries. So that's not great, especially when you live in Europe. You know, it's, it's not that expensive. You shouldn't, shouldn't take that long to, to go visit many, many places. But I haven't done that. 
When I finally had the means to travel a lot, guess what happened? <laughs> yeah, kinda, kinda got blocked by the pandemic, which is not really an excuse. It's just, it's not really my cup of tea. I don't like it. I don't like the hassle. I don't like the fuss. When I travel, I want it to be good and nice and a pleasant experience. I remember having to travel for health reasons right at the beginning of the pandemic. So this was February. It was just like a few cases in Europe. And I remember having to fly and I was so scared beyond belief. And it wasn't even a thing yet. So you can only imagine when it like hit in full swing across the world. Um, I wasn't, <laughs> I was not about to start my traveling journey then. And you know, time progressed and then I met my now boyfriend and we did a lot of in-country traveling. <laughs> we did a lot of traveling in the Netherlands, but um, not much outside of the country. So I'm happy to say that we're finally at a place where we can one, afford traveling and then two, be mentally available for travels just so that you can actually take in the experience. I'm gonna bring a plain white t-shirt as well, just in case. Now let's pack this. Now, time to pack underwear like I plan on shitting myself 10 times a day. Why do I do this, you ask? You answer me. I don't have, a, I don't have an answer for you. What if? There's my answer. There's my answer. What if? I'm gonna take these PJs and these socks. Also, time to pack medicine like I'm about to shit my pants three times a day. Some hay fever medicine, some motion sickness medicine. Ibuprofen, classic. Some plasters. For these sensitive, sensitive feet. Some nausea medicine because I have a feeling I'm gonna eat just a little bit too much. And I don't wanna have to throw up after that. So I only have to take this. <laughs> All right, time for the nails. <sighs> a couple of days ago, I made the mistake of pulling at one of my nails. I had like a, a hangnail situation and then I pulled at it and I shouldn't have done that. And now it hurts like a month. That's unfortunate and it's perfect timing, of course, because why would I be happy? Anyway, we'll move on. Um, we're gonna take off what we currently have on the nail, which is like a nail strengthener that I put on three weeks ago. And I still have some residue, but well, we're gonna take this off and then put on a new coat and then nail polish and then we'll see. Also, you can't really see, but here, a couple of days ago, I was trying to recycle some paper. Got a paper cut. And I got a paper cut right at this edge between the nail and the fit. Worst, worst place possible, honestly. Hurt like a bitch. <laughs> And this is, you know, this is what happens every time I have to leave somewhere. This is standard. So we have a few options for the nail polish. This is a cute color. Oh, but this is like a, like a pearly color as well. Mm. This is white. And this is just like neutral, like a nude. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I also have baby blue probably coming on a bit strong. We've also got this funky color, kind of like a mauve genie in a bottle, of course. We've got this darker neutral, but mm, no, not feeling that one. We've got this beautiful red, but um, it's not really the vibe, you know? It's not the vibes. We've got baby pink. Again, not the vibes, not the vibes. Yeah, that's it. Got some more stuff, but not, not feeling it. Oh, which one? I'm gonna do this one. I've decided I'm gonna do this one, the nice neutral. All right, I'll go do this now and I'll be back with the results. All right, it's the next day. These are the nails, by the way. Focus. Just nice, cute, neutral. Love it. So, last minute packing. We got power bank. All the cables for the power bank that I don't know where they are, but doesn't matter. We got some face masks. We're gonna do a pamper evening at some point. Some makeup wipes some intimate wipes, toothpaste and toothbrushes, 
sunglasses case for the both of us my tiny little earbuds just because I don't want to carry my huge over ear headphones and you know I think that's it oh and we have makeup oh and this day cream for my face uh, of course deodorant and hairbrush I think we're all packed all that's left to do is take a shower wash this hair oh and maybe I'll take my straighteners but I'll decide on this tomorrow Still straight, right? Yeah. That's what it looked like. Together for two hours, so yeah, I think it's here on the corner. Found it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, do you want to go to the rooftop? Uh, um, okay. <sighs> Fully made it go back. Fix this a bit. Temperature. 
22. We made it to 17,500 steps today.
125,400 steps. That's insane. Insane.